Hi there, my name is Rachel, and today's yoga class celebrates the autumnal equinox, or the fall equinox. So if you are headed into fall and that's why you're here, I'm excited to celebrate together through this practice, but this can be a great class for any time of year because it's an opportunity for us to begin that inward journey. Fall is our transition inward, right? The days are getting darker, it's cold outside, we're cozying up in our homes and heading towards winter. It's the opportunity for us to start to take that inward journey, right? With reflection, we start to, especially at this time of year, weigh all the different parts of our life, where we've been, where we're going, what we would like to release, no longer serve this, and maybe what we would want more of, which is a lot of work. So the invitation today is not only to engage in that self-reflection, which our yoga practice creates a great space for, but to also stop and savor the moment, to enjoy the beauty that's around you that's a part of this process. So maybe there's some rustling fall leaves outside or some chili cooking on the stove in your home. Whatever it is, I invite you to stop and savor that moment. When you're ready, we'll have a brief meditation in a cross-legged seat or any comfortable seat. And when you're settled, then gently close your eyes Begin to draw inward, feeling the floor supporting you, the cool air on your skin, the breath cool as it draws down your throat through the nose, and warm as you exhale back out through the nose. And begin that journey inward. Perhaps as we were talking, some different things began to bubble up for you as you reflected on your own life. What this year has been like for you so far, where you'd like to head to, maybe something in particular came up that you would like to release or that you'd like to cultivate more of. Your mind is your tool. Our yoga practice not only refines the body, also the mind. The power to let go, to forgive, and also the power to cultivate and grow something new. If there's something in particular that stands out to you from your own life, hold that in your mind's eye for a moment and then gently allow it to dissolve. You can call it back to you, this intention dedication of your practice, whenever you like. From here, gently blink your eyes open. We'll transition briefly to hands and knees, stacking the hands underneath the shoulders, and then step the feet back, plank pose just for a moment, inhale, and then exhale, send the hips up and back and invite the heels to the mat. From here on your inhale, Lift your right leg up and back behind you, and then exhale, draw the knee to the chest to forward the plank and step your foot between your hands. Staying on the ball of the back toes, inhale, rise on up, crescent pose. We find some balance here. Hugging the thighs together, driving through that front heel, and with a steady gaze. Feeling tall as we lunge into the front knee. Inhale here to find some length, and then exhale, we begin the journey inward. Draw your hands to heart center, lean out over your front right leg, and inhale, lift that left leg up behind you, third warrior. Balance here for a second. Intensify your focus, hold on to one point with your eyes, turning that left hip down so the hips are parallel to the ground. Inhale. And then exhale, release the hands to the floor, leaving the left leg elevated, standing splits. We fold over our straight right leg. Feel free to even give it a gentle bend if you need. We're balancing here. We're lifting the left leg. And the left leg doesn't have to reach to the sky. It just has to be elevated. The point is this journey inward, the strength we create of this right leg, the balance we engage with. 
the opening of the hamstring. One last inhale here, and then exhale, allow your left foot to meet your right, forward fold. Inhale, begin to rise on out, up into Tadasana, hands reach overhead, gaze up, and then exhale, draw your hands to heart center. Drive into the floor with the left leg, and begin to bend the right knee, lifting the right heel. Reach back with your right hand, grab the top of that foot or ankle, and on your inhale, begin to reach out with your left hand forward, keeping the right foot into the right hand. Exhale, tilt out, we're finding dancer pose. Beauty, grace and body. And even if you fall out of here, even if your dancer doesn't look like you think it is, can you have radical compassion and acceptance for your journey, for you? your body, your version of dancer. Finding beauty in everything, especially in yourself, the most beautiful thing of all. Inhale, begin to tilt back up, release the clasp. Keep the right leg lifted, draw your hands to your heart center, and kick that right heel back, tilting out over your standing left leg, third warrior on the other side, inhale. And then exhale, draw step, fall the foot behind you. Exhale, inhale, arms rise, crescent pose. Then exhale, hands plant on either side of the foot, step back to plank, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left knee reaches up and back. And then exhale, draw the left knee to the chest, shift forward to plank, step between your hands. Stand the ball with back right toes and rise on up, crescent pose. Feel tall, feel strong, feel vibrant. Inhale for some height and then exhale inward we go. Draw the hands to heart. Lean out over your left knee and then inhale. Lift your right leg. Third warrior. Drive through that heel. A spot on the floor to set your gaze. Turning inward. Inhale. And then exhale, release your hands. Fully submerged as the head goes below the heart. Our standing split. We feel the strength of our leg muscles of our standing leg and our lifted leg hold us in place. This inner strength we cultivate through yoga while me remaining open and soft, possibilities, opportunities. One last inhale here, and then exhale, right foot meets left, forward fold. Inhale, hinge at the hips, fly on up, upward salute, exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, shift your weight to your right foot, bend your left knee, grab the top of that left foot, Inhale, begin to reach out with your hand, kick into that left hand, and we gently open the heart. We stay open, we stay soft. Sometimes the journey is hard. Sometimes we feel like the grace and the beauty has been knocked right out of us. It takes that strength to be radically compassionate for ourselves, that when we fall, that when life doesn't look like we want it, we have trust in ourselves that life can also be kind and we can build something beautiful. Inhale, come back upright, release the foot, hands draw to heart center, and then kick back through that left foot, raised foot, warrior three. Find the balance here for a second inhale, and then exhale, gently bend the right knee, grab the ball of the left toes, inhale, arms raise, Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step back to plank, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here, and then exhale, release the knees to the mat. Send them out in front of you. And we sit down with our legs straight out in front. From here, go ahead and lower down to the mat. Laying on our backs, we're preparing for halasana. So if you've ever been in plow pose and you know you're going to need a block to be over your head for your feet to touch. 
Go ahead and grab something. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let's try it out together. Something new. And you can add some props if you need them. From here, inhale. Lift your legs to the sky. And exhale. Sit them up and overhead. So now you know where we're going. Are your toes touching the floor above your head? If not, go ahead and put a block there. Give yourself some support. We don't want to blow out the back. Yoga is meant to be strong, but also soft, right? Maybe you want to place some support, your hands at the back to give you a little bit more support here, especially if your feet don't touch. You can also place your feet on the wall. From here, inhale. Woo! Begin to lift your toes to the sky. Shoulder stand. Your hands are placed here on your back. As if you're sliding your hands into some jean pockets. For me, I have my thumbs wrapped around my waist. It's a little sweaty. So I need a little bit of extra friction. You can do that too. Allowing the circulation to move in the opposite direction. We're draining all of the blood that usually collects in our legs, the area of the body that collects the most blood simply because of gravity pulling it down to the lowest point. These inversions, even something like shoulder stand gives our body the opportunity to empty, to renew, and to bring all of that blood back up to the center to allocate its resources, much like we do in life, towards our higher goals, right? Just like we bring these things to the brain, the blood, the nutrients, the oxygen, we allocate the resources in our life, our energy, to go to the places that need it most. We use that discernment. One last inhale here, and then exhale, begin to bend the knees. Send your legs back overhead into plow pose, release the hands from the back, and then vertebra by vertebra, roll down to the mat, releasing the feet, and then the feet come out in front. From here, open the hands to face the sky and take a few minutes in Shavasana. Notice how you feel different. Allowing yourself to drop, to sink. Maybe even doing a body scan. Feel how your practice has affected you in your body, in your mind, in your spirit. Please stay in Shavasana for whatever amount of time you have available today. Pause the video. But from here, we'll consider our practice complete to a seated position when you're ready and draw your hands to heart center. The light within me acknowledges and honors the light within you. Have a wonderful, wonderful fall. Namaste. It's always an honor leading us in practice together. I can't wait to practice our yoga together again soon. Bye-bye.